Many people enjoy the sun and feel better when it shines. This is not surprising when you consider that mankind's very existence has evolved under the sun rays. During these vast periods of time, the skin of animals and then people was continuously exposed to sunlight. Human skin had to adapt to changes in the climate. The loss of body hair and pigmented skin is a good example of how the skin adapted to warm and sunny conditions. Today we are talking with Dr. Stan Pavel, dermatologist and renowned scientist in the field of skin pigmentation and the effects of sunlight on the human skin. Dr. Pavel, when our ancestors migrated from sunny Africa to the north, having a dark skin was not always a benefit. No, that's, that's correct. Um, when we expose our skin to, to sunlight, it starts immediately producing vitamin D. And the dark skin uh, produces this vitamin D slowly and uh, white skin can produce uh, this vitamin D quite fast. Mm -hmm. So having uh, white skin is advantageous, uh, especially because we know from the recent uh, years that vitamin D is very important for maintenance of our health. And scientific reports in the recent years show that vitamin D is a very important vitamin for uh, our health. Uh, there are also some reports uh, from the last year showing that also some other vitamins, for example A2, is produced in uh, light skin under influence of, of sunlight. So having a lighter skin uh, color is very important uh, for the maintenance of our health, especially in the countries with uh, less sunlight. Are there also disadvantages to having a lighter skin color? Yes, uh, there are um, uh, some disadvantages. The people with light skin can burn very easily. Uh, sunburn, especially the painful sun sunburn, indicates that the skin has been damaged. Mm -hmm. And the most uh, important issue in the skin damage is the damage on the DNA molecules, our genetic material, in uh, skin cells. And is this damage irreversible? In the most uh, cases, uh, the DNA damage can be repaired uh, quite easily. Uh, but if this damage is uh, really uh, very pronounced, very in, in mm -hmm. intense, then it can be sometimes difficult. A few years ago, we, we conducted a uh, study with a group of young people uh, whose average age was about 20 years. And we wanted to know uh, how long does it take to uh, repair the skin damage when the skin of these people is irradiated by sunlight and the sunlight causes only slight redness. Mm -hmm. And actually we were surprised to learn that it took about three to four days before the damage in this skin of young people was, was uh, repaired. How does this information help the consumers? Yes, this research provided us with an important uh, message. When we expose our skin uh, each day to bright sunlight, uh, such a sunbathing on the beach, for example, such a sunbathing can, can cause uh, DNA damage and this damage can acc accumulate and at a certain point it's not repairable, it, it cannot be repaired anymore, it's a permanent. And this means that people with fair skin who want to tan as much as possible uh, within one week of their holidays, they can uh, seriously damage their skin. They should actually uh, look whether the skin is burned or, or not and if it's burned then wait several days. Does this also apply to sunbathing on tanning beds? Yes, the, the same principle uh, holds true for, uh, for sun beds or treatment of people in the hospital with light therapy. These devices are equipped with, uh, with, with switches, so you can limit the doses of ultraviolet light. But you, you can't switch off the sun, no. so people have uh, to realize that it can uh, sometimes burn uh, very easily. More and more people are using tanning beds to prepare their skin before going on sunny summer holidays. They believe that this exposure to UV light over a period of time will protect them to the intense sunlight that they will get on the holidays. Mm -hmm. What is your opinion about this? Yes, uh, indeed there are several scientific papers showing that um, uh, the skin can uh, adapt to sunlight. Uh, by slowly increasing the do dose of ultraviolet radiation with sun beds, for example. So there have been scientific studies about this as well? Yes, there are several scientific studies. We also paid attention uh, to this uh, item uh, and our uh, results show that uh, 
controlled uh, exposure um, of the skin in tanning salons uh, and it was three times a week uh, during several weeks. Uh, it provided slightly more than a doubling uh, of the natural protection mechanisms. So this natural reaction actually acts like a sunscreen? Yeah, that's correct. It's a um, kind of sunscreen, uh, natural sunscreen. Well, when you compare it with, uh, with, with sunscreen, is, it has certain advantages because it's uh, waterproof, sweatproof and it cannot be removed uh, by towel. And you don't have to apply it several times a day on the skin. How do the processes in the skin provide this protection? Actually, it's a uh, very complex process and it consists of different components, at least three components. The first is slow build-up of pigmentation, mm -hmm. so the skin is getting dark. Uh, the second is the thickening of the skin. The skin is slowly getting thicker and it applies especially to the surface of the skin, a so-called horny layer. Mm -hmm. And uh, the third component is not very well understood, but it's uh, certainly very important. There are some biochemical processes which can be speed up by, by adapt skin adaptation. So, for example, the negative influence of sunlight can be uh, repaired easily and faster uh, if the skin is adapted. Of course, there are also some people that burn very quickly and never tan. What about them? Yes, these people uh, can really uh, burn very easily and they some of them cannot uh, cannot make any extra pigmentations, uh, so they are not able to fully benefit from the from the normal uh, natural protection mechanisms, and they must be extremely careful in the sun. So they are not uh, allowed to use tanning bath uh, tanning beds in the European Union, which is by the way also true for young people uh, under 18 years of age. Mm -hmm. The only advantage is that these people can make easily vitamin D in their skin. So they need less sun to have yeah, the vitamin D. Exactly. Could we summarize and draw the conclusion that getting used to uh, sunlight um, by a modern sunbed is quite possible for most people? Yes, it's possible. For, for many people it is possible to prepare the skin for, for uh, summer holidays. My opinion is that it should not be f uh, more frequently than twice a week and people should plan it uh, very well in advance because they need several weeks for this skin adaptation before they go uh, they are on holiday. And in these weeks you increase the amount of UVA and UVB? Exactly, we, you, you, you give a low dose and you increase it slowly uh, and in this way the skin can adapt by all these mechanisms uh, I mentioned. Many thanks for your clear explanation Dr. Pavel. For more scientific studies about sunlight and your skin you can go to the website of Sunlight Research Forum.